This screencast shows how you can use the EDAC Potentia stat as a Gavana stat. This must be done either in the chart software or the scope software. It cannot be done in the eChem software. You start by opening the Potentia stat window and the modes are listed here. In Potentia stat mode, you're applying a, a voltage and measuring the current. In Gavana stat mode, you're applying a current and measuring the voltage. ZRA stands for zero resistant ammeter. This is an ammeter where you're measuring the current at a zero resistance. High Z is a high impedance voltmeter, so you're measuring the volts at a very high resistance. To show you the Gavanastat mode, I'll click on Gavanastat, and at the moment the cell is set to standby. Now if I click on real, I have no resistor connected across the electrode cables at the moment, and you can see the the voltage is wandering around. If I try to apply a current, uh, the overload lamp at the front of the potential stat is lit up. This is because I'm asking the Gavana stat to apply this current, and so it's applying, trying to apply a voltage to reach this current, but because there's infinite resistance across the electrode cables, it can never achieve this, so it goes into overload. I'm going to put this back to zero. Now the Gavanastat is still in overload mode, so I'm going to click on Potentiostat just to get it back. I've now connected a 1 mega ohm resistor across the electrode cables, so you put the green working electrode on one side and the yellow reference and red auxiliary on the other side of the resistor. So now when I choose Gavanastat mode and click on Real, the voltage here stays at zero. I'm going to change the range to 10 microamps and I'm going to apply a current, so 5.1 microamps. I'm recording 5.1 volts, which is what you expect across a 1 mega ohm resistor. I can click on a negative current, so minus 4.1 microamps gives minus 4.1 volts. If you don't have a resistor, you can also do this in dummy mode. This is a 1 mega ohm resistor inside the potential stat box. So this is going to work the same way. If I want to apply this current as a baseline, I need to remember to click on here. And now when I click OK and start, that voltage is being recorded as a constant voltage here. If you don't want a constant voltage, you can use the stimulator in the setup menu, and this lets you apply the current as a pulse, as a step, as a ramp, as a triangle, or as a sine wave.